Bitcoin.com and cryptocurrencies are changing dramatically. We're seeing a lot of change going on. And to get some insight into that, we're going to look at a person who has done a lot with this. He's a person that introduced many to Bitcoin and to cryptocurrencies. And he's joining us now from his offices in Acapulco, Jeff Berwick. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure, Terry. It is an honor to have you here, sir, as we uh, get rolling with Bitcoin.com TV and glad to see that. But I got to ask you, Jeff, we got you here now. We're seeing the markets going through some wild gyrations as we're recording this in the last few weeks. We've seen it. What's going on? And uh, is it time to jump or what do we do? What do you recommend, Jeff? Well, as always, you know, you know, trying to watch these markets day by day is very difficult. You know, my long-term view on these things is that, uh, in general, the cryptocurrencies are going to change the world. So there definitely should be some hodling going on to some extent. Uh, the amount of people who are really worried about this most recent correction, I actually kind of find it a little bit funny because if you think about it, one year ago today, Bitcoin was... Uh, let me just look here, around $1,000. It's currently around 10000 fluctuating all over the place at the moment. Yes. Uh, one year ago, uh, Ethereum, let me just pull that one up, it was uh, about $20. It's now about $1,000. <laughs> uh, Why so, a big difference? Uh, and, there's, and there's many others. Of course, Ripple, I believe, about a year ago was about 0 0.02 cents. Not that I'm a fan of Ripple, but it's currently around a dollar. Uh, so the fact that a lot of people think that this is sort of like the end of the world sort of thing, I, definitely not. Uh, at, at, the, at the very least, uh, we needed some sort of correction. These markets really, in my opinion, went way too high, way too fast. And uh, we need a little bit of a pullback. We're getting that now. We'll see how far that pullback goes. Uh, you never know uh, how far it could go. And it could go quite a bit further, in my opinion. I think that'd still be quite healthy. Uh, nothing to worry about too much. Uh, if you've uh, made a lot of profits in the last few years, I've, I've recommended to Dollar Vigilante subscribers to uh, take some profits in the last few months. And that's turned out to be very uh, good advice. And for those who still to this day don't own any cryptocurrencies, start getting in now and it's it's down bitcoin's currently down about 50 percent from its top so a uh, good time to start wading into these currencies in my opinion if you're new to them yeah i like that and i also like what you said about hodl the h-o-d-l hold on for dear life a good idea in many markets another thing we want to look at uh is what's been going on within the bitcoin community and we see bitcoin cash bitcoin core and it seems like maybe at last we can put the war to an end what are your thoughts on the big picture and where we're going with all of that i think the war has actually just begun and it's not so much a war but i find this absolutely fascinating and it really is terry when you think about it we have a currency here that didn't even exist in 2008 bitcoin and it has changed the world we now have everyone talking about it they're talking about it at davos they're talking about it at g20 meetings uh they don't know how to stop it there is no way to stop it uh, if there was a bitcoin office or a bitcoin ceo the ceo would already be arrested and the bitcoin office would already have a swat team gone to it years ago but they can't stop it. So we actually have a completely free market currency here. But one of the sort of downsides to some extent to that is no one really controls it. So you do get a lot of people sort of arguing and trying to move it in certain directions for whatever that reasons may be. And that's what we've seen with Bitcoin in the last year on August 1st. Of course, we had the fork where Bitcoin Cash forked off and uh, Bitcoin moved into SegWit. Uh, over essentially uh, slow transaction uh, times and uh, very large transaction fees, which has dramatically damaged Bitcoin. This has been, at the very least, a huge miscalculation by the people who are really supportive of Bitcoin Core and these changes, because we've seen now, I've seen uh, just add up all the companies. I just saw Stripe, uh, one of the largest payment processors, just say last week they're not going to use Bitcoin anymore. They can't. Yeah, I think right. Bit, BitPay uh, basically said they can't. Uh, uh, we've even, I was at the Miami Bitcoin conference last month, and they didn't accept Bitcoin because it's just too slow and too expensive now. So about that? Bitcoin Cash uh, forked off and said, why don't you just increase the block size, at least for now, until we can figure out these scaling issues. And I'm sure the scaling issues will get figured out. 
But the way in which they were done, unfortunately, because no one really controls it, there's no CEO, there's, uh, it's, it's all done by consensus and sort of like a real democracy, a, a good democracy where there's no violence used against anyone. Uh, uh, essentially, if someone wants to make a change, if everyone else likes it, then Bitcoin changes. If, if someone wants to make a change and no one likes it, then it doesn't change. But because of that, we're going through some major growing pains with Bitcoin. And as I mentioned, this is far from over. Uh, we, and I really don't know how it's going to play out. And that's why I've advised um, subscribers to the Dollar Beach Lante newsletter since August 1st, when Bitcoin Cash was trading around $200, maybe $400, uh, that they should definitely not be selling the Bitcoin Cash, which they received during that fork, uh, because it could end up being Bitcoin by the end of the day. But no one knows. This is still quite early in this sort of struggle that's going on. And we will see. And this is actually all good. This is what free markets are all about, options. And, and people can say, okay, this isn't working the way we'd like. We're going to change it in this way. And if the market likes it, great, it will go up. And if the market doesn't, it will go down. So it's all fascinating to me. I'm sure there's going to be so many books written about this at the end of the day with all the things going on in the space. Yeah, I think so. Well, now, before we let you go, we got to find out about a big event that's going on that you put together. I was there for the first year, remember seeing it, and I've been honored to be the master of ceremonies for the event Anarcho Polco. We've got one coming up in just a little bit of time we have left here. Tell us a little bit about what's going on, what it is, and how people can get involved in this. Sure, yeah, and we're very happy to have you back, Terry, and this is our fourth year coming up February 15th to the 18th. It's actually sold out. It sold out about a month ago. Uh, it's a, essentially a conference about freedom. It's, it's, it's a, a conference for anarcho-capitalists, anarchists, voluntarists, which are all sort of the same word for the same thing, are different words for the same thing. And uh, it appears freedom is popular. And this year, we even have Ron Paul as our keynote speaker. Uh, Gia Griffin is coming back. So many great speakers. Uh, as I mentioned, it is sold out now, but if you do want to watch, we're actually live streaming all four days of the conference, and it's, I truly guarantee it, it's going to be amazing, uh, and we haven't even announced some of the, the uh, uh, extra speakers that are coming on, and all, all kinds of people are gravitating to this event right now. It's going to be very special. If you want to watch it online, you can at anarchopoco.com slash live stream. And make sure as soon as we start pre-sales for 2019, you sign up quite quickly because we expect that one to sell out quite quickly as well. All right. Well, you're doing a lot of good there, and we appreciate what you're doing for that. And, of course, Bitcoin.com will be a platinum sponsor of Anarcho Polco this year, and lots of good there. Jeff Berwick, you're a wonderful guy. We appreciate you, and thank you very much for joining us here on Bitcoin TV.